search. I'm about to call you right now on Instagram to see if we could get you in. Wait, it's not even allowing me to feature the call. Hold on. Oh. There you go. Now I could probably call in. Okay. Uh oh. Hold on. Two seconds, guys. We're going to get the captain in here. See what he has to say. See if there's uh, anything else to listen to in there, too, as well. I'm calling in the captain. It goes through. I'll connect them in. I see people in the chat like, get the captain in there. <laughs> All right, we calling him in. We seeing if he, if he answers. You see, y'all can't hear it ring, but we calling. Look, 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 it's raining right now. Look. Are we calling the captain? If you in the chat, captain. Let me see. Instagram. I don't know. Missed that last night. You can push your music without that pick. Yeah, the picture was crazy. Crew squad is turning on Adam for a good reason, too. Oh, yikes. Wait, did anybody answer or did it? Nope. He didn't answer. I tried to get the captain in. Oh, wait, hold on. I think he just called me back. Give me a second. Let's see. Hello. Hey, what's going on, man? Live with the captain. Let me patch you in so they can hear you. Is there something? Bet. Ah, you good. You in. Anybody? Nah, man, I think you were reviewing it and I was just checking it out. Like, bro, I'll be honest with you. I was smoking a blunt sitting in the garage, uh, bullshitting with another uh, content creator. I didn't expect none of this. You know what I mean? Like, I get what you were saying, but I didn't expect none of this. So he come in hot and I was trying to defuse the situation and conduct some sort of an interview after smoking a big old fat blunt. Like, it was a whole lot to ingest. <laughs> right. I ain't going to front. I, I would, uh, I guess, be caught off guard a little bit. But once I'm in the mode, I'm in the mode. Maybe if, that. if I planned on doing a stream, I'm in the mode. So it don't matter who pop up. Anybody wants to call in. Cool. You didn't do bad. I just felt like it was certain parts to where when he was aggressive, um, you yeah. would uh, let him like kind of just get away with that kind of, you know what I mean? Well, cause I, I understand his personality a little bit. So like I kind of been through the same stuff he talks about. So I knew if I'm trying to, if I'm trying to talk through a situation, I know the worst thing I can do is try to control him too much in a situation. So I need to at least get through it. Like, cause I, there's a lot of things I didn't agree with that he said, bro, but rather than sit there and argue with him, I just let him move on to the next topic what? as quickly as I could. Yeah. Not, not move on to it, but like, okay, well, well you say that you don't, that you don't share church's stuff cause church don't share your shit. Well, there, that's, I can't really argue that too much. Like I can, but rather than waste my time there, I want to know more. I want to know why you you were okay with, you know, uh, marketing yourself as a transgender couple with Tom. And it wasn't just a picture. It was a short and they were marketing it as they made a baby together and Tom was pregnant and the baby yeah. was actually out. That, I mean, I get funny, bro. There's other ways to be funny. That was a little bit too much, I think. And he agreed. He agreed. He said, I, I kind of do regret that one, but it is what it is. Did it to sell the album? Yeah, exactly. And and then he does talk about, he goes on a little bit more and he talks about like, I think he goes into kind of how like he doesn't, and I call him on it. He says, you know, I, I don't make music anymore. I try to, I try to get a target and understand what's going to sell. And I get that. But I said, well, bro, I think you kind of stepped away from what you started doing this. And it was just for the love of the music. I said, when I make videos and I think they're going to do horrible, those are the ones that do great. And, and I was just kind of saying like, Ryan's kind of made this as for, for like the artists that just make the music, bro. If you believe in it and it's good and it's heartfelt, put it out. Don't, don't sit it back and doubt yourself. And Akai was kind of like, man, I'll I put it back. And if it ain't good, I don't put it out. I make sure it's, it's promoted. Right. Like I get it. There's ways of doing it, but. I think it's a lot of comparison to him and bigger artists, because if you just care about your supporters rocking with it and sharing it and liking it, and you shouldn't care about I'm a target and do all this other stuff. I do get the marketing aspect because it is a business, right? Um, but if you have certain more rules, I don't think you should sell out on those more rules just to sell records, right? If I don't think that I should be taking pictures or videos like that, then I'm not going to be taking pictures 
well, videos like that, that is just not for me. That's not well, something I that I'll Well, I made the comment reference that the world all recognizes right now, modern day. Cat Williams said, I told him I'm not shooting a movie scene where I'm doing any type of anything in a bathroom getting right. molested. Anything, you know anything. Like, yeah. 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 No, I can make it funny. I can be a pimp and be funny without that scene. And he didn't do it. He refused to do it. And the film was still made. So, and that's mainstream. So that's why it kind of rubbed me the wrong way when he said that. I'm like, well, damn, bro, you didn't want to do it, but yet here you are. And it's everywhere, bro. It's not just still on one it. Instagram. Everywhere. I, I do think that that's an issue, right? That That's crazy. So it's kind of like him admitting, well, sales and me making money come first before exactly. anything. That's a problem. Yeah. And I, I didn't get into that part of the interview. Or I don't know if you gave him more pushback against on that. It was just the earlier that I was commenting on where he was just being really aggressive towards you. And I felt like you don't need to apologize for having an opinion on his music, right? That's our jobs is to break down the music and give our opinion as media, right? If he wants to clarify, then that's on him. Why is it only when it's something negative is he so quick to call in? What about all the positive yeah, exactly. times? Like what if when people are talking about his music in a good way, he ain't never call in for that, but he's quick to call in and get aggressive right now. Like I was saying when I was reacting, I know that I think he was watching that would have turned different if it was me. If he had called into my stream with that type of energy, it probably would have went way crazier because I would have matched it. Well, there's my more answer would have been one word. Me. There's more history. Say, there's more history. Yeah, there's more history. So when the when the song originally came out, everyone kind of turned their nose up. They're like, "Damn, is this about church?" So a bunch of us went live on Triple T's panel and we're talking about it. We went live mm -hmm. and we broke it down and we seen how it could possibly be at church. The very next morning, Acon went live on his channel and basically called us all conspiracy reactors and we're full of shit. And what are we doing? We're we're just trying to start a bunch of drama. Yada yada yada. Wow. Well, then the next day. The next, and so I was kind of, and I was informed. See, this this is the thing. This is why you said, "Man, why did you back down on it?" Well, I was actually informed a little bit more on the disc, on the disc track behind the scenes by people that know what it was about. Mm -hmm. So I, I originally thought it was Ryan, but then once I got got informed, I was like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa, never mind." I kind of had to retract it because now I actually know what it's about. But you did so make then, the retraction. Yo, yeah, one hundred percent. Because then when Triple T went live the second night, I didn't, sh I didn't show up. I. I just kind of sat back in the chat and let everybody do their thing because one, it ain't my my place to say what it's about because it had nothing to do with me. But I was getting educated, so I wouldn't wouldn't stir the pot. So I I I had, had shut up about it. I'm like, look, I got nothing to do with this. I don't believe it's about Ryan, and I left it at that because that's mm -hmm. I, I felt like that it ain't nothing else is my business to share. So then, boom, he freaking comes in Triple T's chat that night and said, I ain't got no problems with nobody up on this panel. I respect everybody's opinion. You guys have a great night. T said, well, I dropped the link if you want to come up and talk about it. Nothing. Okay. So then, so then, boom, I've been, you know, talking about just like, man, Tom McDonald didn't, ain't responding. Church said he's going to go after people standing around him. What does that mean? Does it mean Matt, Matt Chow? Does he mean a cow? Does he mean, what does he mean? So does he go after a cow to see if Tom responds? And I was talking about that with Mr. Reactions. Mr. Reactions were like, man, you know, in fight music, he started talking about that. And then, boom, I started noticing my chat numbers were increasing. I seen some bigger names in the game show up in my chat. <laughs> Next thing you know, I seen ACAL pop up. And then my chat went from like 94 people to 300. I didn't share it out, bro. It, I don't know how it went and ran like that. Whether somebody was watching and somebody else shared it to like a Discord or something, I don't Probably. know. Probably. He did say one of the first things is, Yo, they sent it to me saying you talking ish, which is another thing. I, I would have picked him apart for that. So he didn't actually he watch up, the content. You didn't see when he came up, he came up and he was all hot. And I'm like, yeah. what's up? And he's like, you tell me. I'm like, I don't know. You're coming up here, dog. I, I, I have no idea. What do you, you want to talk back about? On it. You pushed him back on <laughs> it because he, when he didn't have an answer for what exactly you said, you did give he him some pushback. Thing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You gave, you gave him some pushback. I would have gave him even more because the, for him to be that mad, and not tell you exactly what you said in order for him to be upset, he was wrong for that. He's yeah, going off a answers. hearsay. I want answers. And I've learned in life that sometimes when you meet aggression with something that's already aggressive, it just turns into a waste of time. And then I didn't want it to be, oh, this dude pops up on my stream. I get a little aggressive with him, turns into a shouting match and he leaves and it answers no questions. So well, I kind of, you don't, don't have know. to be aggressive to be stern 
right? Or yeah, you, you don't were. have to be aggressive to be assertive, right? There was certain things he was doing that was like showing like he was trying to be dominant in that situation. And just me personally, just looking off the body language and stuff like that, I I wouldn't have folded. Like, and I'm not saying you folded. I just would have been maybe extreme, and maybe that would have turned out worse, right? Because I wouldn't have repeated myself more than once. I said what I said. I gave my opinion. If well, you want to clarify, point, you also, then clarify. And, yeah, but also at this point, you got to remember that, like I said, and I, I reiterated, and I'm gonna say this again. This is about the music. So I'm trying to keep the respect level as a man there. Because I know he came in a little stern, but I understand his frustration because this is his craft and, and I'm talking about his craft. So then that's the difference that. then. That's why yeah. I'm taking it yeah. a certain way because this is my craft and I take it as this is your craft. And by doing yeah. that, they're disrespecting your craft. And it's about the music. Music, I guess, uh, reactions in and giving opinions on music is a part of the music as well. So if you're going to respect his art, he needs to respect your art. Yeah, you're right. You're that's right. just me and my opinion. Like, I just don't think that he should. That's why I kept saying it feels like he's talking in the beginning, like as if he was better than you. Like, like because I'm the artist, I get to talk this way to you. And to me, I was like, nah, it don't work like that. Well, well I didn't know. That, so there's some more things going on. So in the beginning, he says, I had this sent to me three times. Well, at the end of this, you're going to hear him say, uh, your name's Kurt. Your name's Kurt, right? And like he act like he didn't know what my name is. But he mm -hmm. also says something that's kind of funny. He was calling us conspiracy reactors. And uh, the reason I thought that was funny is because during the time that um, Acal kind of, because Acal subscribed to my channel, he's one of my first subscribers. <laughs> well, I did that true crime shit with Kylie Rodney, and and I was around up church and all that. So, uh, boom! Next thing you know, what do you think happens there? Uh, there's obviously some conspiracy people are saying we're conspiracy theorists, and we, we have no idea what we're talking about. So I just thought it was kind of weird that he called this a conspiracy reaction channel because. If I'm breaking down your bars, bro, I'm not a conspiracy. I'm just thinking about what I'm hearing. That's right. that's a little different. So like he doesn't yeah. want to, and he made another statement um, connected to that where he said, I shouldn't have to come in and explain things to you. So if you don't want to come in and explain what your bars mean, if someone's given a reaction and the reaction to it or expl explanation is wrong, then why are you mad? You don't want to come in and explain it. People are going to have their right. different perception, right? And even if it is wrong, right, to admit that you have in your past done subliminals towards people you're not wrong for breaking down his music and saying whether you think something is a sub towards someone or not, especially with the timing, right? Well, like, he right. took that aggression you, you out on the wrong person. Wrong. You ain't wrong at all, and I'm going to tell you why it's crazy you say that, because I did a reaction to uh, his song, Kalata Pen, a long time ago when I first started doing reactions. And uh, he freaking, he was in there, and I, obviously I didn't know. And in my video, I say, because uh, he's talking about 40 days and 40 nights, which I know is a reference to the Bible. But I also thought he like Noah's Ark, 40 Days and 40 Nights. But I also thought because we were talking about pills, it was a reference to doing time in a rehab. Because most of the time, sometimes they're 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, whatever. But mm -hmm. I still thought he was just using a play on words. So I mentioned that in my reaction. And he chimed in the comments. Rather than saying, hey, man, great reaction. Hey, bro, you know, I appreciate the reaction. But I did. It was a biblical thing. It wasn't anything he just popped in and said nope you're wrong it was definitely a bible reference and he was gone and that was the only time i've ever seen this dude in my comments or anything until yeah, now yeah that's that's not that's not good it, it, it gives a, a bad perception at least for me um one thing i do want to say because I, I know why he would be frustrated if what he said was true um at one point he said that someone made an accusation that he attacked a female officer yeah, is bro, this true? Listen, I'll be I'll be hundred percent with you. So during the stream, this is what this is what happened. I didn't know, I don't know that that's how he got arrested because I heard a different story. I heard I heard a completely different story. I heard he was up in an apartment, he beat up some dudes, he jumped down, he ran from the cops, and he got in trouble for a burglary or whatever. I, I didn't I never heard the the police officer story. So when that police officer story came out from T. I said, T, I didn't hear it that way. I said, T, to be honest with you, I heard it a completely different way, but I, I, maybe he got arrested two times. I, I don't know. I don't know enough about the dude to be able to be like, T, you're full of shit. That ain't even true. I didn't, I didn't, it could have both. I didn't know which one was true was, and, and this is a thing, bro, is he was on, he was on Chad Arms TV and he told the story about how he met Ryan. 
it was completely different on how he tells the story on his own channel on how I want to jump to that one. We can talk about that next. I want to say uh, more on the, the thing that he addressed in that one portion. So how do I know, um, so in the how moment, do I know what's true about that cat? How, do, how well, can I tell TJ you're wrong? Because I don't I was, even know if you're right or wrong. I was going to say, it's not necessarily telling him if you're wrong or not. I wanted to ask, did you ask him if he had proof or receipts or where's the well, source of that information? He told me that that's what Adam said. He got arrested or he got arrested for beating up a cop. And then, then somehow it was a female. It's, and I said, well, I didn't even hear he got arrested for beating up a cop. I heard he got arrested for beating somebody up in an apartment and running out. So it was a conflicting thing. Anyway, I didn't, I thought it happened the way I said it. He thought of the way he happened. He said, I didn't even, I was like, all right, bro. I don't know. I, I couldn't tell you because I don't know enough about the dude. And we moved on. Do you so think he, he was frustrated personal. with that? As in like he, cause it seemed like he felt like you didn't stick up enough, right? Or at least question it enough. Not necessarily to tell the guy he's wrong, but at least to question the information. Hey, call it, call it how you want to call it, bro. But like I said to the dude in the interview for the last two years, I've watched him not share anything from Ryan, not comment on anything from Ryan. What the fuck do I look like backing him up for? I mean, well, who let's are you be speaking real. on? You talking about, uh, Adam? Hey, Cal. Yeah, why am I going to back up Adam when Adam ain't backed up church for a long time? And I'm a fan of church. Like, Brian's my friend, bro. Like, it, it, it hurts as a fan to see another person that their career got not, not, not a fully built, but it got started and propelled into a direction that most people would never get the opportunity. Bro, me, I'd be sharing everything that dude does for the rest of my career and his career. Every opportunity I get, that, that's being humble. That's showing respect. That's showing that that's your dog, not hiding behind the curtain for for the last two years, telling no, everybody that you're dog. No, I can no, respect I 100 percent you um straight up coming out because there's a lot of reactors that have their bias and they're afraid to admit it. So I can respect you coming out and saying, "Yo, this is who I'm rocking with." But within that, I don't know if you uh, are aware. You bro, also admitted. No, no, no. Hold no, on, let no, me finish my statement, right. brother. Brother, we got okay. like we got to be able to take turns. I was saying that I respect the fact that you're saying that you rock with Ryan, right? So, because a lot of yeah. people are denying the fact that they rock with certain people behind the scenes. But in that moment, you just, I don't know if you realize, you also admitted that because of your bias, you didn't um, stand up for, I guess, the truth or finding the information because you're Incorrect. saying pretty much why, it, let me explain why it was perceived that way. Because just now, your, your first statement was like, why would I defend him? He doesn't defend Ryan. Or something along those lines. Did you not just say that? I'm just no, trying to that's clarify too. No, no, you didn't no, say no, no, anything no. along those lines. Uh, along the lines, no, like why I would I? Say, I didn't say that he defends him. I said that he's he doesn't have. It's not like he's supporting him in any way, shape, or form in the last two years. Whether it be, uh, hey, good job on this song. Uh, here, let me share this. Whatever. So, like, as a fan of one artist that, and and, and, and look, this is what I'm saying. And this is a thing, bro. I is looked on, out for fucking Adam. Arm. When he was doing that shit with Tom, I was like, hey, bro, quit hating on Adam. Let Adam one do second. his thing. Adam's working. I started doing reactions on, because I, I, I liked what Up Church was doing. I thought it was dope. I thought, man, this is badass. I, it was an, an inspiration. So when I found Adam, I found Adam. The only reason I found Adam is because I, I was listening to Up Church. So then when all this shit popped off, I was one of the people defending Adam and pushing the brave to. And then all the stuff saying Dax, this is independent. It kind of gave me a bad taste on my mouth, made me look like an idiot, to be, to be honest with you. And then you look at, he don't really share anything that church does. And he claims that that's his dog, that's his people. So at the end of the day, what do I look like to start investigating, to dig around, to find out if what T said about him is really true? Like he, I don't. So then wait, all that. right. So then I didn't have to even go and look for it because you just repeated it, something similar. <laughs> all right. So yeah. you're saying pretty much because he's not defending, and I just wanted to clarify, I'm not even bashing you, and I just wanted yeah. to make sure. Yeah, no, I know. So yeah. because he's not supporting Ryan or, or to the degree that you believe that when the time came for someone to put misinformation out, instead of like investigating or looking into it, but I didn't um, which know is it was part of our job. But I didn't know it was misinformation. I didn't know if it was. In, I didn't even know if it was. I had no idea. I, mm. How do I? How do I know it's? How do I know he's putting misinformation out unless I know it's misinformation? I I don't know. I, I thought it was one way. He thought it was the other way, and neither one of us really truly knew. So we but moved on. You didn't on. Like, investigate it um, because of prior lack reasons. of how do I? Well, yeah, lack of at the moment it was. See, it, it, I wish I knew the context of that completely because I don't really know how Triple T brought it up. And, and I don't yeah, know I like how him. it came up. 
it, it sucks because he that's what I'm saying. I didn't he come in there flying in there hot. And that was like one of the last things I would have thought he would have talked about. I'm just like from what he's saying, that's the one point to where I could understand why he would come in there hot. And if you have experienced something similar or you just you know how like a lot of people on media, mainstream media, especially spread misinformation, he's like suing people over it. You would know like that he would be frustrated over that. Right. So like when he said that one moment where you was like, yo, that wasn't me, that was so and so. And then you started naming the reasons of why you respect that. I don't think it was unfair for him to go that you were sitting there the whole time. (laughs) Yeah, no, he, yeah, he, he's right by that. No, he's right by that. That's why yeah, I don't got no problem with them being upset at that. But that's what kind of threw me off, though, to be honest with you, bro. There was so many different things that right. I thought he would have addressed rather than coming there. Like th- there was a lot of stuff talked about about that diss track. There was a lot of things brought up about, you know, uh, would he would he defend? Is he going to defend Tom? Like, why wouldn't you talk about that? Let's talk about something. Let's talk about current events. Mm-hmm. Are you going to are, are you going to do you support church going after Tom? You know what I mean? And those are the questions I really wanted to ask. And I just, to be real with you, I was trying to move and and think and it just never worked out the way it should have. Do you think it was a lot happening at once during that conversation? Well, there was a lot happening. I was also trying to understand and read the room. I was trying to keep up with chat. There was over 300 people in there. I wasn't trying to keep up with it, but I was trying to keep him out of it. I was noticing my mods are doing a good job taking the, the comments away before he could finish reading them. So that's why it was, it, it was crazy to see a dude with a million, 1.7 million subs. So concerned about that chat room. Yeah. That's something I did notice too, as well, that I probably would have said something in the spot too in a moment, but I do understand that you wasn't trying to like frustrate me any further, but he was paying a lot of attention to the chat. Like, like only to the negative things and he even admitted that even on his channel he only focuses on the negative which oh, that's that the Colin Kaepernick bar, you need to investigate that because he so he said you were on, up on ig Cappen is what he says and then he says something about a Co- colin kaepernick taking a knee whatever however he transitions into that bar it's identically word for word the 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 Kaepernick bar that Church uses in the Gator disc. and a lot of people like and I, I wanted to and he immediately kind of shut it down and I know the argumentative personality that the dude has you could see it right away you could read it quickly right when he come in there so I thought okay if I argue this with him I'm probably not going to get get much out of him because right. look let's be real bro like I didn't know the lyric to the T and neither did he so. In my eyes, I'm like, well, Gator used to be your boy. He's not your boy no more. Church dissed your boy. At the time, Church dissed your boy. That was your boy. And now you're using the same bar from that diss track in a song called Fight Music. That's, so there was some suspicion, but I didn't know up. it well enough to pin him on it. Yeah, but I didn't know it well enough. That was me, my fault in the media. I fucked up right there. Because when I was smoking, sitting here talking to somebody completely not expecting this and i did wasn't. i was in hot seat and i fucking failed yeah bro my, you know what i mean <laughs> and the the interview overall was like unexpected it was like moments before he he just decided to call him i was fit i was live for 50 minutes bro just sitting there smoking i was almost done i was getting ready to roll another blunt i was licking hey, the paper boy, when he uh, come up on stream yeah. i didn't see that i didn't notice that that he popped and i put up. it down out of respect for him i said i'm gonna put this down that way I don't have a blunt to get rolled. Yeah, but you know, I still, I want people to hear his message and I know YouTube don't like it. So I feel like at least that part of the stream will get seen maybe. I don't know. I do understand that. I understand. I, like with the criticism that I've given you, it seems like st- it's stuff that's it's not that big of a deal. Um, Stuff that, of course, like you admitted that you was un- um, prepared and then one moment you could have came with certain research for that point. Um, As far as the whole Triple T thing, I don't think it's fair to put that on you, but I do understand why he was frustrated. As far as the Triple T thing, I don't know what was said exactly, right? I would have to talk to him. If he's in the chat, I'll talk to him about it, right? Um, To see if he clarified it. Maybe he apologized after the fact, right? Or clarified it. But when it's information like yeah. that and he's going through what he's going through with mainstream media lying on him and he has lawsuits and all that stuff, I get why he's frustrated. I don't think he should have directed that towards you or reaction channels in general. I felt like that was way too much. But it did seem like he calmed down. I didn't watch towards the end. What did y'all talk about towards the end of it? Okay, well, hold on. Before you get to the end of it, let me make this clear, too. This is another thing. A lot of stuff gets missed on this internet, so I'm trying to comb through and make sure you get every little piece of this. So this is another important fact. When we were live a week and a half ago, Triple T got offered the link to come up, and he didn't. He ignored it. I mean, not Triple T, uh, ACAL. 
from Triple T. He ignored it, which is okay. I understand there was there was people on the panel. Uh, there was a heated moment, whatever. So um, why did he confront then, Triple T then? Ah, okay, that, that that that's a question right there for you. But now it gets better. So he's he knows some people on the back streets that I know. I reached out to somebody and said, Hey, I've hit this dude up on IG, but it limits what I can message him because I'm not, he's not following me and vice versa. So, or I'm following him, but he's not following me. So I can send one request. So I said, Hey, reach out to him and say, you want to nip this in the butt. This was a week and a half ago. You want to nip this in the butt. You want to go live and talk about it. We'll, we'll get it out of the way now. That way it, it ain't a big deal. And it ain't a topic that everybody's just wondering about. He ignored it. He didn't even answer the dude. So mm. then boom, I'm I'm thinking, okay, he's in my eyes, he's on triple T because I ain't really even talking about this too much. The guy that I come up with and talk to, Anthony, Mr. Reactions, he he kind of, you know, was dabbling in it, but I didn't think it was anything big. And then boom, this dude mm -hmm. pops up out of nowhere. So he had plenty of opportunities. Being 1.7 million subscribers, I would have I would have scheduled this for for a time that he knew that he could come level headed. He you know what I'm saying? Like right. he could have done it a lot better if you're worried about your presentation and you're worried about making and that was a thing bro you're worried about presenting your music to people and how it's presented but you couldn't even present your interview properly i i don't i don't buy it man what it is is like i think because he's independent major artists have like publicists and people around them that handle these type of things right like i came up with a good idea while i was watching y'all talk like if he didn't want fight music to be misconstrued why didn't he do an interview after he released it he yeah. could have did an interview to promote it with a reactor, right? But instead, he wants to come in when it's negative and when it's something that can be seen as... a bar breakdown video. You said who? He could have done a bar breakdown video where he goes, he, he makes a song and then makes a video where he sits down and says, look, this is what I'm saying here about. Yeah. With the yeah, reactor with next to him, yeah. I think 100%, yeah. right? That's good marketing. It's showing love to the people that's promoting you, right? It seems like he's not good at that at all when it comes to like even while he's on the live with you him reacting to the chat in that way i'm like whoa brother like put the chat to the side stop looking at it like just focus on the words like and and, and towards that point it seemed like it was de-escalating and actually getting into more interesting territory of him not um being able to say certain things and he's saying it with you but he's so focused on the negative comments in the chat that he can't even get in that element of like That's this is your spot that's why I wasn't trying to beat too much into a question because I felt like it was so hard to keep him engaged in what, cause I would get him back mm -hmm. to a plane where he was, he was communicating with me and then he would lose himself in that chat and he would get angry because of what people say. He was trying to fight Cashville towards the end. He was calling Cashville out and then apologizing to him. Like he was, he was literally losing his cool here towards the end. So I'm trying wow. to gather up everything. I, the end is a, is a good spot to, I don't remember exactly what I said, but, I would just at least finish it. Maybe if you even have to skip a little, I, I mean, I don't know how much time you got. No, what I'm probably going to do is I'm a part to it. I'll do it in tomorrow's stream. That way it's not like us sitting here for a long period of time for one thing, but I'll part to it and do the second part tomorrow more than likely. But while I have you here, I'd rather get it from the source. It's definitely interesting too. That this is another thing to think about, bro, is that I've never seen a cow. I, I don't know many interviews with a cow. I don't know him jumping. Up. I know he's on roast and reviews years ago with alexander king all that stuff with that beef but right. I, I can't really think of many times that this dude jumped up in the morning and ran to a stream to talk to some dude about his music <laughs> so that's crazy uh, yeah ain't it that is crazy um did it end in a more positive note to where it's more some you have more of an understanding or was he still frustrated yeah and 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 you know i said bro you, you ever need it hit it up talk to me whatever but it is what it is like people are probably pissed off because i did church church does a, a video uh right after this and i did react to it i'm gonna react church, to that next i'm gonna react to that yeah next. that's that's important because like i i gave my opinion like look i'm gonna be real with you i gave my opinion on, on a whim uh taking the man for his word but also not playing my whole hand like i i, I don't a cow try to come up there and discredit me as a person and discredit mm -hmm. me as a creator. I'm Ryan's friend. He knows that. He knows who the fuck I like am. Like in personal, like personal. In life. person, like yes, like I've been to the ranch. I, I, I that's my friend. Like I, that's it's what's not. Up. You know what I'm saying? So, but he and he knows that. So when he come on the internet and he was trying to discredit me as a person, it was kind of embarrassing to me 
for him. Mm. So I played his game. That that what you've seen right there is me playing his cat mouse game. Like, oh, you don't know who I am. You heard my name three different times, but you don't know my name. Uh, I talked to you during the Kylie Rodney thing. Like, you know who I am. You you might right. not know me, but you know of me. You know, what and I'm you saying? got footage of that. Like, did did y'all talk on a live stream or was it just like uh, private? Uh, we didn't talk on a live stream, but like I said, he was one of my first subscribers. So he's been publicly subscribed to my channel and the Kalatapin reaction okay. was long before, was long before the Kylie Rodney thing. So he knew wow. of my channel. So he had been around. So to act like th this, I'm just this foreign guy that knows. And he kept making that the first time that me and T went live, he made it crystal clear that these guys don't know nothing about our real lives. And then he kept saying that in this one. So I just let him. Why does that I let matter? Him, Why does that matter? I, it, we talking what, about your music. But what if it does? What if what if it doesn't matter? But what if I do? So that's what oh. my, that's what my point. Like, what if Ooh. I do know? I know a lot more. I know. Are you saying that you might know way more than what he's insinuating? Oh, I know. I know light years ahead. I mean, and that's if, if church is in the chat, if church, church will verify that. I know. I, I've seen the things that he dreams and, and has the nightmares of that church is going to talk about. Like, I, I'm not stupid, but wait, 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 wait. a diss song's coming. I don't know, but he talks about a lot of things. I don't know if it's. Just, I think you're gonna see. I don't want to ruin the video for don't you. Don't ruin it. Don't ruin it. Don't ruin it. Don't ruin it. I'm not. In fact, wait. Well, you're a source. Would you like to watch it with me? Um, I can't stay for too much longer though, to be honest with you, because I got to okay. be to work at three, it's fine, and I haven't. It's fine. I've, I've had like an hour of sleep, but I do want to say time. this, bro. Is that I, I? I I went in. So remember, you said I was being biased. Yeah, I was. I, I would maybe I was being biased in the fact that I wasn't allowing. Um, myself to defend somebody that I feel like can't even defend somebody he calls his friend and somebody that I look up to yeah, as my know. friend but I also look at ACAL as somebody that was respectable in the community that kind of like showed these younger cats hey you don't need no mainstream label you don't have to make videos acting like you could do it you know what I'm saying you could do it on your own bro and you, and you don't have to worry about the view count wait wait you know wait like, hold on before, wait, before you what... finish I got no hate for the alphabet community nothing but love for y'all this video is for educational purposes he's just explaining his point that did not come from any place hey continue oh yeah no my bad my bad I'm sorry, I'm sorry I yeah, no hate at all but that's just what the video they made the video they had the baby whatever I'm just I saying gotcha. like it don't take that and and I and that's what I was my most disappointing thing about ACAL was and I told him this like that was it bro like I could never imagine you doing no no weird stuff like that and then and then to get up there and kind of discredit me as a person like I don't know what yeah, I'm talking about that's, that's I, messed up he know. knows you damn near a source actually so for him to say that is kind of crazy. If you know Ryan like in real life, that's kind of messed up for him to say something like that. Doesn't make sense. I mean, sense. I'm not even trying to brag, bro, but the the it's not no bragging, it's facts facts. hanging on my wall. The billboard, the parachute billboard that Ryan gave me to my friend Kurt, my buddy Kurt, is hanging on my wall. He that's you can't up. tell me he missed that thing. It's it's a big golden record on my wall and my videos. He's seen my videos. He 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 didn't just show up one time and want to go live with me. Right. You know this just as well as I know this, bro. You've been around this game long enough. These dudes don't just show up the first live stream and jump on a panel with the dude. Yeah, he's been watching. He said that it was the third time something was sent to him too from you yeah. by name. So that's what I was like, wait a minute. Like there's a lot of things he was saying. Don't get me wrong. I had my criticisms for which you admitted there's certain things you could have did better. But um that's just from a creative standpoint. He gets most well, of the don't criticism. Don't you think that's kind of playing people though a little bit? Yes. Like because look, in all reality. I think people were calling my bluff that I wasn't good. Cause look, I'll be real with you. I I'll get hate for this. People say, Oh, you were just cloud chasing over there. beast boy. I don't care. I'm not cloud chasing. What I'm saying is, is at the end of the day, you guys can believe what you want, but that's just that pulling that wool over somebody's eyes and trying to take credibility away from somebody and make it seem like I'm just this conspiracy theory reactor that has no fucking clue what I'm talking about. And I'm just mm -hmm. picking and probing in people's lives. No, bro. I'm not. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty messed up to even insinuate that, especially if he knows otherwise. And I don't think you're clout or anything. I asked you to call in. <laughs> no, I know. I'm not yeah, talking right. about you. I'm talking about in general. I'm saying that that's the out for a lot of these people, bro. You know clout that chasing. the out's going to be this catch, his clout chasing, his facts ain't facts. No, what the fact of the matter is, is if I wasn't man enough to tell you this, if I wasn't man enough to say, look, this is what's if I if I just left it at what it was, right. nobody would ever know. Then, then, then this dude, Captain Kurt, is just picking and probing in some life that he has, he has no understanding. Do I know a lot about ACAL situation? No, 
but do I know, but do I know what, what this situation is a hundred percent, what we're talking about right now? Do I know why all this shit's going on without a doubt? I get it. There's probably more that you can't say right now. A hundred percent, bro. Like that's the thing. And I won't ever say it. Tell. It's not my place to say it. I would never say it. I'll take that to the grave. If it never comes out, it never comes yeah. out. But the point is, is, is it does exist. And that's important for you to know is that what you're going to watch exists. It really, it's factual. It, it, it is, it is tangible. Um, it's Ryan's there. not crazy is what you're saying. He ain't no, it I, no cap. I put it on my daughter. I put it on, I, I put it on everything, bro. It's not like people are going to tell him that you're lying. You're just trying, you're, this is a poker bluff. You're just saying this because you're trying to promote your album or whatever you want to call it. This is clout. You're crazy. You're on drugs. I promise you on everything. No bullshit. This is one. I, I've seen it with my own eyes. Well, that's I, what the machine it, says, man. They, they don't change their tactics. The machine always tries to take you down by saying you're crazy. You're on drugs, all types of bullshit. Whenever the truth comes out. So that's expected. Well, if the machine tries to get church. Just know I got fucking a copy of that too. They're going to have to come get me and all my hard drives and everything. So hey, it, it, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, but that's how I, it is. That's I got no copy of nothing on no hard drive, but I hate the machine. So I'm with it. <laughs> like well, any chance I could get it. That these people, bro, these people will discredit him and discredit him and discredit him to the point where it's like true. People are mad already saying he's recording and he's not supposed to. Motherfucker, you're in you're in somebody's home. You know right. what I'm saying? Like you're in and somebody's it's legal. home, bro. It's legal. You ain't do nothing yeah, wrong. Especially in Tennessee, it's a one consent state. As long as one person from the party consents to being recorded, yep. everybody can recorded. One party consent state. I definitely did yep. my research on that for sure. Just to make sure. I that, like, appreciate you, dog. I really do. Thank you for the documentary you did on Upchurch. I look forward to more of those. I think you're killing it. Thank I you, like man. your opinion. I, I like that you call people on their bullshit. And you're not afraid of it. I really do, bro. I really do appreciate that, man. Thank you for calling in and clarifying. I hope this ain't the last time, man. And maybe we can get that reaction together. Yeah, for sure, bro. Or maybe, you know what? I do interviews. Like, I really do. I, I, I believe it or not. I know you kind of, you criticize me on this and I appreciate it, but I do real interviews, like in sitting in the studio, really talking about where your direction, your YouTube career has gone. So one, I work nights now, so it's been rough on doing that, but I need to get a list together and I get you on there, bro. We'll get, we'll get together and talk. Cause I, I like, I, I like your way of, of getting your, like those documentaries. I, I've never really seen. It reminds me of like a book report. Like, I feel like you sat down and you really did your homework on that. Nice. Put it all together. It's a, it's Thank a good you. little dope, small, keep your interest and move on. You know what I mean? Real talk. I appreciate the heck out of it. I worked really hard on that one. I think it took me a few weeks. I was getting things done and editing and research, but I got a lot more coming, man. A lot of video essays coming for sure. I'm dedicating that channel to video essays and still doing my reactions and kicking it and just keeping it real. Bro, this genre lacks media tremendously. So I respect the hell out of you, bro. Like, like, like I said, and I'll say this again, especially I want people to hear this. If Tom comes back and drops a better diss on church, I'm going to tell church, get your pan game right, bro. Wipe them off and put them back in the game. Like Word. this, this is what this is about, dude. This is, this is healthy for the genre. It's bringing people together. It's getting people to understand like different sides of different opinions. Like right. this is, this, this is hip hop, bro. Where it brings more attention to independent or like rap or just music in general. hundred percent. Yeah. is good. And it's again, people that don't know hip hop, they're not going to really see it as that, but it's cool. That's why we got people like us here to, to spread that information. But thank you again, man. Real yes, sir. You have a great day, man. And uh, much love, chat. Y'all take care. You too as well. Everybody Peace go on. check out Captain Kirk. Yeah. He's a good guy, man. Appreciate him calling in and clarifying a few things. Uh, let me see. Put this to the side. All right. We still got the Upchurch joint. I'm going to probably listen to the second half or the last bit of his interview with ACAL tomorrow. I feel like we was like stretching that joint out for Madeline because I had a lot to say about it too as well.